Even though Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton has promised to abolish private prisons if elected U.S. president, the CEO of the country's largest private prison company says he isn't concerned. Speaking at an investors forum earlier this month, the chief executive of Corrections Corporation of America, Damon Hinninger, said his company will be just fine no matter who wins the White House. Being around 30 years and being in operation in many, many states and also doing work with the federal government going back to the 80s where you had a Clinton White House, you had a Bush White House, you had a Obama White House, we've done very, very well. We had a lot of growth under Clinton, we had a lot of growth under Bush, and we've had a lot of growth under President Obama. If we continue to do a good job on the quality, and with that we can demonstrate savings, both on capital avoidance but also cost savings in our, in our services, then I think we'll be just fine. Through aggressive cost-cutting measures, including understaffing its facilities, failing to train guards, neglecting medical care for inmates, and ignoring violence, including multiple cases of rape and murder. Corrections Corporation of America brought in about $1.7 billion last year. Portions of these profits go to lobbying federal and state governments for harsher sentencing laws, prison privatization laws, and more recently, the arrest of undocumented immigrants. Now CCA is betting its long-standing relationship with governments looking to save money will continue. We do a lot of work with states, again, that have changed uh, parties. Democrat governors go to Republican governors, vice versa, and we've had great success. You know, California is our biggest state partner, and we did uh, the initial contracts out there under Schwarzenegger, but we have had a good relationship under uh, Governor Brown. As I think about the next president, whoever that is, if it's Hillary Clinton or if it's uh, Donald Trump, there's going to be so many things that he or she are going to have to deal with that I think having a view on our business, our industry is going to be really, really low on the priority list. Although Clinton claims she'll abolish private prisons if elected president, the presumptive Democratic nominee only committed to the policy after it was revealed that she took donations from private prison companies. This revelation also led to Clinton announcing that she would no longer accept the industry's money. It's impossible to say if Clinton will keep her promise to end private prisons, a policy that was also recently added to the Democratic Party's platform. But if the three branches of government remain as heavily divided after the election as they are today, and if the majority of Americans who distrust Clinton are proven right in their beliefs, there's a good chance CCA and other companies like it have nothing to worry about.